Are you serious, Twitter? Just to kind of cut to the point here, Twitter finally decided to give us a feature that, I don't know, every single person and their mothers has been waiting for. Because I don't understand why an app like Facebook, or should I say Meta, <laughs> and even Instagram, where you can literally have a post and then hit edit if you make a mistake and then, you know, fix it up. For the longest time, this has been a thing that Twitter has not had. And I'm going to talk to you guys about a brand new subscription service that will feature just that. What is going on guys, boy Ooch back in once again, just to get the formalities out of the way. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff because you know, algorithms and such. Anyway, why don't we just go right into it because I want to talk to you guys about this and give you guys my thoughts and I just how ridiculous it actually is. So here it is right here. It is Twitter blue. Now I'm not going to lie. I was working obviously throughout the day and I saw this trending on Twitter and I had no idea what the hell this was. And I was very confused and I'm like, why are people saying they are Twitter blue? Like, I don't understand that. Like Twitter is blue. The app is blue. I mean, whatever. Right. But it says here, you get the more out of Twitter access, exclusive features at our in introductory price when you subscribe to Twitter blue today. So it gets worse because this is an introductory price. So it basically starts at two 99 a month. So I'm wondering if there's more features that they later introduce that you're gonna have to pay more for simply doing a basic function. I feel like that is super dumb. I'll just get that out of the way, but let's continue. So the big first one, upgrade your content, undo tweet, typo, forgot to tag someone, give yourself time to preview and make changes to your tweet before it goes live. And this is for the iOS, Android and a web version that is bullshit i'm sorry to say like that's crazy that they're literally now putting up a paywall just for fixing a tweet like i said i used facebook and instagram as examples because those are pretty much the only other apps that i use outside of like now i'm starting to use tiktok to just kind of promote my stream links by the way twitch.tv slash uchi games to uh check out my live streams when it comes to twitter like this is the only other app that i'm on heavy and they have been around for a very, very, very long time and they've never had this feature. And now they're finally introducing it in 2021 for $2.99 a month. Bruh. That's, that's, that's bullshit. I'm not even gonna lie. That's just, that's just, that's, it sucks. There's also get news without the noise. So there's ad free articles, enjoying an ad free reading experience across a network of US based popular publishers, not including paywall access. Top articles easily see the most shared articles in your network over the last 24 hours. And then reader turn long threads into a more beautiful reading experience. So, okay, like you're giving me a more enhanced reader experience to read threads. I mean, like I, they don't, it's like if they gave me an example, then I guess I could be, would be able to break this down a little bit easier for you guys and talk to you guys more in depth about it. But I mean, as far as the articles and the top articles, I feel like I'm getting notified or not even notified, but just like constantly shown things that I'm either signed up to see, or I don't care to see. And a lot of it is of the, I don't care to see stuff, even if it has to do with things that I wouldn't maybe necessarily like, but again, like this is. I'm just so baffled at the fact that we're now, they're, they're really trying to give you a reason outside of just the undoing your tweet stuff to pay $2.99 a month. And that's, like I said, that's the introductory price. So who knows if you hit that button and then there's more along the lines with uh, exactly what you're going for. You can now also customize your Twitter experience. You can bookmark folders, which you can organize your bookmarks and folders and avoid endless scrolling. Wow. It's, it's crazy that they're literally doing things that could have been so much better if they were just free, but you know, everything nowadays is a subscription based service and it's bad enough that you know, I guess we're just adding another one to the endless list of everything being a subscription service because it's even to the point where now certain companies are even having a service so that you can get priority in pre-ordering something, which would then cost you more money, which is nuts. That's, that's the direction that we're kind of, uh, in already. You can add custom navigation so you can set your most used pages right on your tab bar. 
Okay, that's interesting. So, I mean, if you're navigating through a bunch of different profiles, is that what that means? I'm not exactly sure. That's an iOS only feature. That's, that's, that's not something that's even on Android, I just noticed. App icons. You can get access to exclusive app icons for your device. That's for iOS. So, there's a lot of iOS specific things funny enough i noticed that android is some is is missing out on some of those android also missing out on the ad free articles apparently which i mean that's i mean you know everyone likes the crap on iphones but i myself and i'm i and 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 have been an iphone user since the iphone 4. and then you're and you could choose a new theme color for your twitter experience that can only be seen by you and that is for ios on web which is like the desktop version, you're at least able to change like night mode or like, I feel like, what do they call it? Like dim, there's like three levels. There's like, there's completely dark and then there's dim, which is like a really dark blue. And then there's light mode, which I'm pretty sure everyone kind of hates on um, anything light mode, uh, which is whatever. Now, apparently you're going to be able to change even that. So, I mean, cool. Another thing that they could have just added for free, but I guess they, they're, they're really trying to take advantage of all of the users on Twitter and saying, hey, there's all these features that we definitely could have just updated and just really try to bring and drive all this traffic to our site to make people feel like Twitter is the place to be. But no, now you want to make us pay $2.99 a month just to get all that. That's... It's bullshit. It's, it's, it's bullshit. And oh, there's one more thing, and that is get early access. Now, this is a web and an iOS thing. So the web one here says upload longer videos. For when you have more to share, upload and tweet videos up to 10 minutes long. Now, funny enough, I actually have seen certain accounts. They, they upload their videos, and it doesn't matter how long they are. I don't know how that, how that works, but I, I mean, even me, like... I thought that the, the rule of thumb was you can only upload like up to like 60 seconds. But then there's even for me, like I said, I, I've, I've, I've had it where I've been able to upload videos longer than a minute uh, upwards towards like two to three minutes. And the whole thing would go up and I, and I, I would have no idea how, but that might be a bug. I'm not really sure, but that is a web exclusive type thing. Also, there's pinned conversations. And of course, this is for iOS. There is no Android on this at all. <laughs> this right here says swipe to pin your favorite conversations to the top of your direct message inbox. Not gonna lie, I don't even really use DMs like that very often, to be honest. So there, I, I feel like that feature in and of itself is almost useless. And then again, even when you start a new conversation or your latest conversations are always going to show up in the order in which you had them. So I, 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 I question this, I did that, that feature. I, I really do. So let's see what happens if I do hit the subscribe button. Okay. So when you hit the subscribe button, it, it is a straight up flat two ninety nine per month, Twitter blue build monthly, and of course it's going to be tax calculated as well so okay so there is no extra added on uh features because you know sometimes certain sites and uh subscription services they kind of get you where it's like oh here's how it starts and then they have like a list of other subscription based uh price points and you can kind of choose from what you want so okay well it is what it is three dollars a month for those very a uh, free type of features that you find literally anywhere else with the exception of like changing the colors of your themes. But honestly, like I don't really, I don't see that as a selling point really. And I think that that's kind of ridiculous. All in all, I think this is really dumb. I honestly never expected that I'd be doing a video like this talking about how Twitter is giving us what we want, but they're charging us for it. Whack. Considering obviously, like I said already, like other apps have these features. I mean, we're really talking about the, the big one here is just the fact to edit your tweet, to undo it, to fix it. That is the first, the very first thing that they had on their list of features that they're providing and introducing to the users on Twitter. And like I said, it's dumb. And I think, I think 
people should uh really shout and make noise about this because i mean i feel like stuff like this should just be free i honestly really don't know what i would do if i was in twitter's shoes and how i would even come up with a subscription-based service for a freaking social media platform like I, I have no idea i mean probably one thing would be to be be more discoverable i don't know that's like the that's like a term that a lot of people use nowadays but that's for like you know streaming like for youtube and twitch and whatnot and people are already paying memberships and subscriptions for individual creators like twitter is a freaking social media platform so the fact that they're trying to charge me three dollars just so i can fix a tweet like Quack. anyway if i go on anymore i'm probably just gonna repeat myself more than i probably already have so i want to know what you guys thought about this um in the comments please let me know like share subscribe hit me up on huh twitter all my links in the description will be in the description like i just said take care of yourselves me the power protect keep it locked button right here on this channel stay safe stay clean and stay inside i'll see you guys next time